Levatinir, approximately seven flat tires occur every second. And based on statistics, it is expected that the average driver will experience approximately five flat tires in their lifetime. But what if one of these experiences occurred in a supercar? Well, today I'm going to share what my experience was like in a McLaren 650S. In my experience, when a supercar breaks down, it's a very theatrical experience. There's smoke, there's sparks, and of course there's a symphony of alarm bells that accompany the breakdown, but not this time. In fact, it was a very practical breakdown, which was very easy to diagnose. So what happened? Well, I was out for a spirited drive with a friend of mine in a Ferrari F430, or as my subscribers would know it as a Lamborghini Mustang. I start to feel a bit of a jitter on the driver's side front tire. I've actually never experienced a flat in my entire life. Let me just set the context for you. I'm in the middle of nowhere, very late at night, stranded on the side of the road. So my first action was to call roadside assistance. I call them to let them know that I have a flat and I am stranded on the side of the road. The worst part is not that they had to classify my car as a Ferrari since McLaren was not on their system, but to find a workshop that would be willing to work on the McLaren. It is just a flat tire, but after calling quite a few mechanics, no one was willing to repair or replace the tire, so I was left with absolutely no options and no places to take my car to. Because, first of all, McLaren is closed and I can't just leave it outside their door. And secondly, since I live in a condo deep underground, and there's no way I could drive my car down the parking garage. So where else do I put my car? The only option I could really think of was to leave my car at the Four Seasons. It's right around the corner from my home and they have a very large space so I can actually easily unload the car and leave it there overnight, being assured that nothing would happen to my car. So I called Four Seasons up to let them know that my car was broken down and I need to leave it there overnight. However, the worst is yet to come. People say that the modern supercar is practical, easy to drive and with a lift system it can clear almost every single obstacle that every other car faces, but not a flatbed. We essentially spent one hour playing Tetris with wood to ensure the car would not scrape as it was loaded onto the ramp. No, 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 but I feel like I'm too much on the left. Am I straight? It was a very tedious process because we only had millimeters worth of clearance to play with. And it also meant having to inflate the tires to get that extra clearance. Anyways, once we get to the Four Seasons, the unloading process begins. And it was just as painful unloading as it was loading the car up. So hopefully it clears right now, we're kind of stuck. It's so freaking scary. We're going like millimeter by millimeter, just trying to find ways to, uh, to get it through. All right, this is like the final stretch right now. Good? Okay, man, I'm just trusting you. This entire process, I kid you not, took approximately four hours to complete. Waiting for the truck, loading it, driving to Four Seasons, and unloading it. It was a very, very late night. Now over to McLaren. So I did my part and I secured the car safely over at Four Seasons. I informed McLaren that I had a flat, sent them a picture of the puncture and told them that it was on to them now to collect the car because no one else would touch it. I know what you're thinking right now. McLaren probably ripped me off with the replacement of the tire. However, it's not what you would expect. A lot of people think that only dealerships will never repair a tire but replace it altogether. However, McLaren actually gave me the option if I wanted to repair the tire or replace it. I decided to replace it because both front tires were near the end of its life. You're probably wondering what the cost is to replace two tires on the McLaren 650S. Well, to be honest, I wanted to go with the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's, but McLaren did not have that in stock and would have taken too long to arrive. So I ended up going with the Pirelli P0 Corsas. They are approximately $650 per tire. McLaren charged $700. So the total cost to replace the two tires was $1,400 plus 
$170 for labor, so it came to approximately $1,700 with tax. A lot of people tend to complain that supercars have become too practical, too simple, and too easy to drive, and they miss the dramatic, theatrical element of the supercar experience. But what I have shown today is even something as basic as a flat tire can be extremely dramatic and stressful. The supercar experience is not only the joy and the pleasure of driving a supercar, but some of the frustrations and challenges that come along with owning it. Thanks for watching. Until next time.